Hi everybody, Dr. Howe here. I just wanted to take a bit of time to introduce you to the nature of our course. Uh, this term, you're gonna be taking EN 231, Literature of the British Isles with me. Our theme this term is Identity, Travel, and Empire. So what is this course? Well, the course description will be on your syllabus. It's also on MaryNet and in the catalog. Um, this is a course that introduces you to a variety of different kinds of voices, genres, cultural movements, and various traditions in British literature uh, from the medieval period to the contemporary period. Um, so we are going to be uh, zeroing in this term on questions of national identity, the export of national identity under imperialism in particular. We're going to start in the Renaissance period with the Tempest, and we're going to go all the way up to the 21st, the 21st, sorry, the 20th century with um, Wale Soyinka's Death and the Horseman. Uh, so this is a, um, a literature one course in the liberal arts core. Uh, you may have some questions about what exactly that entails, uh, and I want to make sure that you are aware of what that means. So our goals for the class are uh, pretty general, as befits a Lit One course. Your goal is to read some representative literary texts by authors from different cultural backgrounds, historical periods, and genres. You should uh, be able at the end of the class to explain how different genres or styles reflect writers' social and historical concerns. You should also um, be thinking about how to respond thoughtfully to literary texts through your writing and the class discussion, which will be an important part of our work this term. Uh, and you will be learning how to engage with these texts both analytically and creatively. So those are our goals um, for the whole course. Now, this is a Lit One course, an introductory literature course in the liberal arts core. So, you know, what is that? Um, I wanted to take a bit of time just to explain that to you uh, because some people may not know. So the liberal arts core is essentially a set of courses and a set of credits that you take uh, in your bachelor's degree program or outside as you're pursuing your bachelor's degree um, that are specifically courses that are designed to help you become more enlightened and well-rounded as an individual. Uh, and this is really something that's at the heart of higher education in America. Uh, it's been at the heart of higher education in America since its inception. And it's for this reason that every college or university you consider will require you to complete courses that cover specific subject areas and develop specific skills. Uh, our core curriculum includes courses in writing, math, natural and social sciences, humanities like literature, philosophy, and theology or religious studies. Our, course, uh, our core courses um, include both requirements at the introductory level and at the more advanced level so that you can achieve both breadth and depth um, in these uh, courses designed to help you become a more well-rounded citizen, a more enlightened individual, uh, and one who is um, educated in some of uh, the broadest um, understandings of what it means to be an educated individual in the U.S. today. So what exactly are we going to be doing in this particular class? Well, I mentioned our theme to you already. Um, we're going to be looking at issues of nation, identity, and empire. So we're going to be starting with Shakespeare's The Tempest. Um, this is actually his very last play, and it focuses on human relationships, social bonds, power, violence, and the colonial future of the British Isles. So uh, many of you may have already encountered The Tempest. Um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't reread it. Please do. <laughs> this will be the very first book that we're going to be studying, so make sure that you have a copy of it on day one. We're going to be reading some smaller pieces from the early 18th century, uh, some excerpts from Defoe's Robinson Crusoe, and uh, Jonathan Swift's Modest Proposal. Um, Robinson Crusoe from 1719 is often called the first modern novel, and it tells a very quintessential story of middle-class individualism in very vivid, concrete detail. Um, so if you have encountered the contemporary movie Castaway with Tom Hanks in it, that's Robinson Crusoe. Uh, if you have seen the fantastic science fiction film Forbidden Planet, that's Robinson Crusoe. 
uh, it's kind of an ur text for um, a lot of uh, understandings of actually of what it means to be American in a lot of ways. So, uh, so we're going to read some excerpts from Robinson Crusoe. Uh, we're also going to read Jonathan Swift's Amata's Proposal from 1729, which uh, is an early example of political satire from the perspective of a colonized people, in this case, the Irish. Uh, and again, you might have encountered this in high school, uh, but again, please, you know, reread it. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, we'll gain some new insight into it. Um, and this is the famous uh, story that he wrote, or essay actually, um, that satirically suggests cannibalism as a um, response on the British's part uh, to overpopulation in Ireland. We're also going to be reading uh, an eight, a later 18th century novel called A Sentimental Journey. This is uh, Lawrence Stern's very last novel, kind of like Shakespeare's The Tempest. It was his last play. Uh, this is his last novel. It's actually unfinished. He envisioned having uh, two more volumes attached to it, but um, but we only have the first two and and it 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 ends. So, you know, <laughs> we, we can talk about that um, if you like. So this is um, a novel. It's actually a very experimental novel um, about what it means to travel as a feeling uh, privileged individual. Um, so this is a very, very short novel. And this is going to be the subject of one of our major group um, projects or major team collaborative projects during the course of the term. We're also going to be reading some contemporary authors, uh, Derek Walcott, Salman Rushdie, and Zadie Smith. I think this is a little out of order, so I'll come back to that in a sec. Uh, but the next book we're going to be reading after uh, Lawrence Stern is a 19th century novel um, by Arthur Conan Doyle of Sherlock Holmes and James Watson fame. This is his second novella, The Sign of Four. Uh, the second novella of his to feature Sherlock Holmes. Uh, and it's going to tell the story of a mystery that's set against the backdrop of empire and rebellion, particularly in uh, British India. After that, we're going to read a very controversial novel, uh, The Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, um, who was Polish born, uh, but yet was a British citizen. Uh, and this is a very controversial no no novella, as I said, about a journey up the Congo River. Um, it has been read both as a colonialist uh, novel and a critique of empire. So hopefully we'll have some interesting conversations about that and you'll come away with uh, a deeper understanding of, of this kind of literature. After Conrad, we're going to turn to an, another Irish novel, uh, sorry, another Irish author, um, Samuel Beckett. We're going to read his, his famous play, Waiting for Gatto. Uh, and this is uh, originally written, not in English, actually, but in French. Um, and he did that for reasons, which we will discuss in class. Uh, it's an absurdist, very deeply human masterpiece uh, of the postmodern world in which people wait for a man who does not come, um, Gatto. And this is a... Uh, uh, a still, a, a photograph of uh, a performance of the play from uh, the 1970s. After Walcott, sorry, after uh, Beckett, we're going to be reading some short pieces um, from the contemporary period. Um, and those will be by Walcott, Salman Rushdie, and Zadie Smith. Uh, these are some smaller works by authors who represent a new understanding of the British Isles. Uh, often from formerly colonized environments like the St. Lucian poet, um, who is Derek Walcott up here, uh, who also is, a, is an artist and a painter. Um, the British Indian novelist, Salman Rushdie, whom you may have um, heard about in news, uh, news stories recently. Uh, and the author Zadie Smith, who is the author of, uh, sorry, the child of, of Jamaican immigrants. Um, so these are some of the contemporary authors we're gonna read. Uh, we ha they have some short pieces by them. Uh, and then we're going to read a short play. Um, we're going to close out our term with a short play called Death and the King's Horseman by Wole Soyinka. And Soyinka is a Nigerian author. And you might wonder, well, why are we including Nigerian authors in a course on British literature? And it's because Nigeria is a former British colony. And this play from 1975 um, retells a true story that's at the heart of um, native Yoruban identity in conflict with imperialism. So I thought it would be a really nice way to conclude our, our survey of literature of the British Isles. So those are the texts we're going to be reading um, as part of this course in the liberal arts core. 
Uh, I want to go over very briefly with you um, some of the assignments that we're going to be doing. I'm not going to go into full detail on these. We'll talk more about them when we uh, when we are together in class. Uh, but um, total of 100% divided in this way. We're going to be doing a few um, team projects. The first is a class annotation project organized around Lawrence Stern's Sentimental Journey. Uh, and then finally, we're going to be doing a team podcast project uh, where you will be working with uh, team members to create a 10 minute podcast on uh, an author or text of your choice. Um, you will notice that there are no exams in this class, um, and that is deliberate. Uh, we are going to be writing a couple response papers, however, uh, that will uh, do some of the synthesizing work that, uh, that an exam ought to do. Okay? Um, and then we're going to have a, a, substan a substantive portion of the grade that will be organized around participation, various quizzes that I'll have you do on a weekly basis, and other kinds of minor activities. Uh, the other uh, participatory component of this class is what I'm calling a passage presentation. Uh, and the passage presentation basically will be um, something you'll do once or possibly twice throughout the term, depending on how many students we have in the class. Uh, and you're going to be asked to bring in a passage um, from, from the day's reading to discuss. And then at the very end of the term, in lieu again of the final exam, there'll be a presentation which will be on your podcast. Uh, so those are the main assignments that we're going to be doing this term. I hope that they um, are uh, engaging for you and uh, have a kind of public outward looking dimension, which I think is very important in a, a literature class. So, um, so there will be a little bit of writing. You'll have to do these response papers. Um, there will be quizzes, uh, but a lot of the work that we'll be doing in this class will be project based. So welcome. Um, I hope that uh, we have a fantastic term uh, this year, and I look forward to meeting every one of you. My email is here, t-h-o-w-e at marymount.edu. Please do get in touch with me, and one of the first sort of mini assignments you have is just to watch this video and send me an email, okay? So be sure that you do that, and let me know if you have any questions. Welcome.